on this project, we employed several engineering initiatives for fast-track execution, as well as being able to minimize project material surplus through phased engineering and controlled procurement. This project faced multiple challenges. Building the double wall tanks on a hill which had to be cut, around half a million cubic meters of soil and rocks had to be removed. The foundations of these tanks were 2,300 cubic meters of concrete each. And in order to avoid having joints in these foundations, we had to do continuous pouring for 13 hours, which proved to be a logistical and supply challenge for ready mixed concrete. The roofs of the double wall cryogenic tanks, each weighing approximately 310 metric tons, were assembled inside the tanks and lifted to their final position at the height of 36 meters using nothing but air. Special blowers were used to increase the pressure under the roof to move it to position. A lot of preparation preceded this complicated operation, which ensured a safe and successful execution. COVID came at a time when the plant was at a critical stage of completion, that is commissioning and startup, when vendor representatives were indispensable and required for the successful project completion. However, worldwide travel ban, unavailability of flights, visa restrictions, and mandatory quarantine made it extremely challenging to mobilize vendors. In addition to this, Oman had several lockdowns further impacting the completion of works. We had to work closely with the vendors to engage them remotely wherever possible and sought our clients' support to arrange chartered flights and exceptional visas. We are committed to working with local suppliers and develop their competencies, their capabilities, their quality standards. We, we see this uh, and we, we, we really we don't do this because it is expected of us. We, we do this because we want to do it. We see this as a competitive advantage, helping us to reduce our costs, improve local qualities and uh, at the same time have a positive impact on the project schedule. Right from our initial discussion with the client, we have commenced the ICV with a very successful roadshow in Salala. Actually, more than 100 companies have been invited to participate in this roadshow where we have collected the database of these companies and we've created the list where we made sure these lists are included in, as part of all the invitation to tender, what we call it the ITT documents, or our subcontracts to the main subcontractors when they go and invite the tier subcontractors to bid for packages uh, as, as part of their scope of work. From the supply chain management point of view, we ordered the major critical items well ahead of contractually agreed milestone dates. We then moved to the second phase of ordering the balance equipment of the project. This was the time we could develop a great pace of ordering. All stakeholders brought in their contributions to the ordering process. We had daily meetings with the project team. We sit for 10 minutes and we identify our plans and goals for the week. So this is how this progress was achieved and the pace was achieved in the second phase. I would say we provided a galloping start to the project. It was a contribution by all stakeholders. We did our groundwork and we took on board a lot of Omani suppliers for the project. We could identify potential suppliers for static equipment, electrical instrument bulks, structurals. All these have been sourced in this project from the local suppliers in Oman. And finally, we ended up in beating the contractual in-country value requirements.
Al Jamal and I'm a principal project engineer. I joined in 2010 as a mechanical graduate and this is my 11th year in Petrofac. I was part of the management team of Salala LPG project since the award in 2017. I was mainly handling the turbo expander package, the chiller package and the cryogenic pumps along with few other packages. Delivery of any of these packages is actually a mission to us. From the initial stage of interacting with the vendors to the manufacturing and assembly stage and finally the arrival of this equipment on site. Hi, my name is Muntasar Hilal Al Hinai. I am a chemical engineer graduated from Sohar University. I joined Petrofac June 2016. During my career with Petrofac, I have had the opportunity of being exposed of three huge projects, such as Sohar Refinery Improvement Project, BB Ghazir Phase 2, and Salar Liquefied Petroleum Gas, and wish to build forward more with Petrofac journeys. I am in charge of the pre-commissioning, commissioning and completion on storage and jet area. In charge to commission and coordinate with vendors such as loading arm, as propane, butane and condensate, and POG compressor and chiller package. Prepare and maintain commissioning record of site observation, testing process and checklist, following up with my team of the punch list closing, track and review progress through meeting going through all the permit under my area to keep my area safe to work. My biggest accomplishment was being the youngest Omani to work for commissioning department with more responsibilities. I worked hard for this and I am proud. Well, I joined Petrofac June 2016. I was fresh engineer with no experience. So every month at site was my biggest achievement as site experience had given me a better appreciation of design, problem solving skill, managing a team, managing a client acceptations and a technical experience.